Hey, 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 my friend. I am so pleased you are here. And in today's training, what are you going to get out of it? So often I get these questions. Connie, where do I actually start as an entrepreneur? Where do I actually start as a network marketer? So today, that's what I'm going to help you with. And I'm going to give you five very, very simple actionable steps that you can actually take straight away that will make a huge impact on your business. My name is Connie Matthews and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers build the right framework and business that can give them back 99% of their day. What would you do with that? So today we're actually going to cover off the complete beginner's guide to becoming an entrepreneur. In this video, we're going to have a look at the entrepreneur's guide on how to create an online business and leverage your time without being overworked, underpaid, or lose your professional image. That and the steps you're going to take away from today's training, it's gonna cover all of those off for you today. When I actually started this, I read so many books, I did so many training courses, and there's nothing wrong with doing all of these things, I might add, because I'm still doing a whole heap of those. But at the end of the day, there's only five things that you really need right up front to start and make that impact and they are your personal brand. One, two, create awareness and identity. Three is trust, four, values and behaviors, and five, strategy. Now, we can actually take these five things today and implement them immediately and make a big impact and difference. But I also want to remind you, that don't forget to click that big green button in the blog because that's actually gonna help you download a free resource which really is an addition to today's training. In that resource we're actually going to cover off how to create color palette, the value of your logo, power poses, I cannot begin to impress upon you enough just how valuable that will be and how that's going to make a massive difference to your business. And there are two pages of tools that I physically use every single day in my business. And I know they add value to me, they're actually going to add value to you. So make sure you click that big green button in my blog, conniematthews.com.au forward slash 009 in case you've misplaced it and download that free resource so you can make it your own. Okay, my friend, let's get straight into it. Personal brand. Now, the thing is with the personal brand, it's actually not that challenging, it's not that hard. You just need to be aware of the image that you're actually projecting online. The thing is, like attracts like. So whatever you're actually putting out there into the social media space, that's what you're going to end up coming back to you. So I'm gonna actually ask you a question. Would you follow you? And if you wouldn't, what is it that you would do to change? Think about that. If you're actually struggling with this one, what I would love you to do is I've got another blog, which is conniematthews.com.au forward slash 005. There's a really cool exercise in there that will actually help you drill down on your dreams and your goals and the affirmations to actually uh, be congruent with your dreams and your growth and your goals and that will actually help you define the direction that you would like to take your business to and the people that you would so like to no attract. real big secret here that a well-crafted personal brand one that you want to actually project and is congruent to your values and behaviors will be the key to your success now Part of that will be the color palette that you actually put together. Now, would you believe that the colors that you choose actually send a subliminal message to your audience? If you think about this, red is actually rage and anger normally. And if you think about red, yellow and orange, well then you're thinking about food, takeaway food. So what is the image that you actually want to project and what is your brand colors want to actually say about you now in the downloadable freebie we're actually going to go into a little bit more detail so don't forget to download that freebie now, the biggest tip that i can actually give you here is you are actually the brand 
not the company that you represent and certainly not the products that you represent. It's actually you, you are the brand. Now, part of building a personal brand is also building your own website. And my recommendation would always be is brand the website by your name, such as ConnieMatthews.com au now why would i do that you are the brand you want people to be following you and it's going to be your name that will become recognizable i'm going to give you another little story and you might actually have heard this one most people tend to put all their business through social media and there's actually nothing wrong with using social media because here i am and i use social media as well however what would happen if you built up a big following of people and the social media platform either closed, heaven forbid, or they changed their rules and you could not see who your followers were anymore. And I have a real life example for you. Donald Trump had 80 million followers on Twitter and Twitter actually closed his account. Da -da. My recommendation is you, you can certainly start on social media. This is where we all start, but progress towards building your own website because that will help develop help, that will help develop okay. your brand. So let's actually move on to number two, and that is create awareness and identity. And I've kind of covered off a little bit of that just by talking about the website. Now the second part to this, creating your awareness and your identity, it's not just always being about online constantly. There are a plethora of events and community meetings just in your own area. So find out what they all are, get out there and get to meet people. And what you would want to do is build your brand awareness and create awareness and identity and then what you would love to do is get into some of those meetings and do small 15 minute segments of public speaking to get your message out there. That's just one way of creating your awareness and identity. The other thing that's really, really, really important here is that you need to recognize where your target audience is actually sitting. Now, there's a social platform called, um, I should say a website called We Are Social. Have a look at that. It'll give you all the stats of who's sitting where and their age brackets. Now, my target audience is 45 and up, and they're all sitting in uh, Facebook, uh, sometimes in Insta, but Facebook and uh, LinkedIn. But if you're younger and you're a young mum and you're just starting out, your audience will probably be sitting on TikTok, Insta and Facebook. So if you actually know where your target audience is sitting, you can really target that message and create your awareness in the right place. Now, when you're actually creating your profile online, my tip here would be is let people know who you are. Let people know what solutions that you would have for their problems, certainly what it is that you actually stand for. So when you actually implement all of the things that we've discussed so far, you're going to be creating a little bit of consistency here and that's actually what your audience wants to see. That then leads into our third point, which is At trust. At the end of the day, we absolutely want to build trust with our community. Now, if we don't build trust, our community won't engage with us and our community most certainly won't do any purchasing of product with us either. So this is something that's imperative that you can actually build through your social media platforms and of course your website when you, you get really to that. You want to make sure that you're open and transparent, have great communication and when people want something from you, when they want to ask you any questions, make sure that you are always available for them. We want to make sure that our community know that they can come to us when they okay, need us. Okay, now let's get on to values and behaviours. It's no big secret yet again that your values and behaviours will actually be portrayed through your posts. So the things that you actually want to share with your community are honesty, boldness, freedom. That's actually why we are network marketers because that will give us a lot more freedom than your nine to five role 
trust, which is what we've already gone through. Team spirit is a really, really, really big one. Part of network marketing and being an entrepreneur is actually building a team of like-minded people. And team spirit is one of the things that we really need to focus on. And what about modesty? and accountability and being responsible as well. Now, you might actually come up with quite a few more adjectives, I guess you could say, that are more relevant to you. But that's just a baseline to start with when it comes to values and behaviors. Now, my really, really, really big tip here is this job, network marketing and being an entrepreneur is actually being passionate about people. So you are here to serve your tribe. It's not the other way around. So be passionate about what you do and the people that you serve. Okay, so we have actually made it to the final piece and that is strategy. Now I actually could do a whole training session just on this one tiny little subject. But my aim today is to give you some actionable pieces that you can take away and implement immediately into your business. So let's actually think about first off posting. One of the things that I like to suggest to people is don't just do pointless posting. If you can actually plan your posts a week in advance, have a look at your posts and what is the journey that you want to take your audience on? What are the actions that you want them to take? Do you want them just to like? Do you want them to comment? Do you want them to download a piece of content? Now, your role is to what you really want to be doing is adding value to your audience. And when you are actually posting, here are a few things for you to take into consideration. Are your posts entertaining? Do they educate or do they inspire others? All of these things will actually add value and create trust, by the way, in what it is that you're actually presenting to your audience. The other thing that I would also recommend is you consider your vision. What is the vision for your business and where do you want your business to go? Always take the time to learn from everything that you actually do. And I really do want to stress there are no bad experiences. There are only learning experiences. And when you I take that into consideration, earlier, um, being found in the right place. Your audience is different to my audience. And if you can actually assess which platforms are the ones that's gonna suit you, your message will be heard faster. And I just wanna give you another downloadable piece of content if it's gonna be of value to you. But if you go to conniematthews.com.au forward slash 002, there is a downloadable in there that will actually help you drill down to your target audience. Once you, know, once you know who your audience actually is, you'll be able to assess which platforms are the ones that you want to be working Here on. Here is something else for you to consider. All your social media platforms, anything that you're actually on, I want you to start thinking about that as an online resume. So if you were going to actually apply for a job that was say $200,000 a year, I guarantee that your resume would actually look like that. So now start thinking about how your cover image is, what your profile image looks like, what is your bio saying about you. There is an about section also on in Facebook. You can actually fill that out and get that to start looking like your online resume because people will check Another it out. Another tip here would be on your personal profile, what you really want to be looking at is 80% personal and 20% business. And on your business profile, you would want to actually switch that around. You would want 80% business posting and 20% okay. personal. We have actually technically come to the end of today's training. And as you know, at the end of each training, I like to answer the question of the week. And the downloadable that I have put together really was answering the question of the week. And that was, where would you start? Now, again, in the downloadable, the color palette, the um, logo, and spending the day out with a friend and taking 100, 200, 300 photos of you in power poses. Those things will actually add value to your personal brand. And of course, as an extra bonus, I've actually put in there two pages of tools and apps that I use within my business. 
Now what I would love you to do is actually when you've downloaded it and started using all of those tools, let me know which one is your favorite because I've got so many I don't know which one to pick first off. Now, I want to say how excited I am to be connected with you. So you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, email. Please touch base with me if you've got any questions on anything. And if you want me to do specific training on something, let me know. I would be honored to actually produce that content for you. Now, I know this was an action-packed training session. So what I would love you to do is share this with your network marketing friends, with your entrepreneurial friends, because they will get as much value out of this as you did. So for now, let's stay connected and I wish you a great week.